This is an XC-142. It's a uh, semi-scale model of a full-scale aircraft that was built back in the 1960s. They built, uh, I think, five of them. And uh, they actually tested them in a lot of ways for the military. And in most ways, they met the requirements, but uh, ultimately, it, it wasn't a commercial success. It did have some technical difficulties, you might say. Had a little bit of a problem with uh, lateral stability in cruise. By that, I mean forward flight. And it had a, a bit of a, a long period pitch oscillation problem in hover, which actually caused a crash and ended the program. But it, it flew, it flew well. They, they carried a lot of heavy cargo and uh, dropped troops and did everything you can imagine a cargo plane would do for the military, including landing in unimproved airstrips and so on. So it's a cool plane. Well, this is a model, of course, um, and uh, it couldn't possibly fly if it didn't have a flight controller inside. It does. It, it's uh, based on a KK-2 hardware, um, but the firmware inside is, um, is Open Arrow 2, and it's a developmental program. It's still in process. This is actually uh, Beta 15, um, but we're getting ready to uh, release an Open Arrow VTOL um, firmware that anyone can use. It's open source for anyone. That's the whole point, to, to let other people do anything they want, not just this kind of an airplane, but all kinds of vertical takeoff and landing aircraft. Well, let's turn the transmitter on first. Make sure the throttle's off. Not that it would matter. It's got an arm safety features and so on. So, this is the hover mode, obviously. And this is what I call slow forward flight, where you're just cruising around like on a low gravity planet. And then this is the uh, full forward flight mode. Now you'll notice the elevator moves along with the wing in order to maintain the proper pitch uh, control so it's in trim the whole entire way. It can fly basically continuously at any one of these settings, but I have it set up on a switch so there's only the three settings. And you'll notice how slowly it moves and that's just to give the aircraft time enough to accelerate. Otherwise, you know, if you just went straight into full forward flight, it would fall out of the sky. And what about that prop in the back? Okay, that controls pitch. The original had one as well, so that's scale. Now, what isn't scale is these are all fixed pitch props, just, you know, motors and propellers, basically. But on the full scale, they were all variable pitch, and that's what they used to control, well, pitch in the in case of the prop in the back and roll and, and of course, uh, I guess uh, helicopters would call it uh, collective pitch for, you know, up and down. Because the original was uh, turboprops and they ran those at a constant RPM and then varied pitch in order to control the uh, Z-axis. Okay. And let's see if we can do a decent takeoff here to get things started. Seems okay. Little pilot uh, sort of acclimation here. I'm going to go ahead and uh, go into slow forward flight. I have to cut the throttle back, otherwise I'll end up at you know at very high altitude. <laughs> Now let's try and bring it fairly close. Well, hopefully the uh, the canopy doesn't look too fake. No, <coughs> having that little bit of texture in it actually looks good, I think. It looks like there's something inside. Yeah, that's what I was going for. Sure. I'll just bring it around in a little loop here. Oh, this is neat. Okay. 
Nice maneuverability. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and get a little altitude here. <clears throat> and then I'm gonna go into forward flight briefly. Okay, I usually do this a little up higher. Okay, there was a transition. Oh, that was really bad. <laughs> yeah, scary, wasn't it? Yeah, totally. Try and bring it back for you to. Why? Because it's moving too fast? Yeah. Sorry. Okay. There's that adverse yaw. Okay. You know, look, just looking at it, they were scrimping on vertical tail and they were probably expecting to take some of it out after. Now, for whatever reason, I don't seem to have it turning left just right. So I'm going to keep this short because batteries are, you know. So we're going to do a reverse transition here. I'm going to try and bring it back a little closer for that, but reverse transitioning now. That wasn't too scary. <laughs> Yeah, so I like to do a little spiral to lose altitude here. And now for the final transition. Yep, yep, this is me getting nervous. All right, let's bring it in, bring it home. Wild. And the crowd goes wild. <laughs> and now my knees can start shaking. <laughs> they already uh, were. Uh, that's great I got stuff. some awesome photos. Go ahead and cycle the wing just to make sure everything's cool. All right, we'll do a little more forward flight this time. So I'm arming here. All right. It's at this particular firmware, it takes five seconds in this uh, down and in position to arm. So we should be armed now, and we are. And all the motors are coming up evenly, so everything looks good. All right. See, we've got a quadcopter right in front of us. I'm going to give him a second to go wherever he's going to go, which is right in front of me, apparently. <laughs> Taking off. All right, here we go. Okay. Since we got such beautiful conditions. So now I'm gonna go ahead and do a uh, transition to slow forward flight. Nice sideways transition that you could see well. I won't do a lot of slow forward flight this time, just enough to give you a taste. Okay, I'm going to take it up a little higher to do my transition. So I'm going to turn it around and see if I can give you a sideways view on the transition this time. Okay, here we go. And that was the transition.
It's amazingly quiet, actually. Sort of a sloppy loop. I could have done that better. Yeah, you were just banked a little bit when you went in. Yeah. And with all the uh, stabilization on it, it's not going to swing out on its own. There's that adverse yaw I got to work on. Now, are you trying to give it any rudder there? That was full rudder. Okay. Full stick. So that's a little concerning to me. That's something I need to work on. There's a little bit in the left turn too, but yeah, it doesn't look like it's that bad. I really, for, for now, I should probably keep it to left turns. I should probably not do too much in the aerobatics anyway for now. Can you do one more roll, please? I didn't catch the first Okay, one. I'll do a roll here. Let's see, here we go. It's kind of far away. I could, I could try and do one a little closer. Well, don't push it. All right, if you don't want to go right, we'll go left. Thank you. So I just cut the throttle back in forward flight still. I'm going to keep this fairly short and I'm going to do a the reverse transition right about now. Have to cut the throttle back when I do that, otherwise it wants to climb, makes less than a smooth transition. That's intriguing. I mean, that's just the flat pitch of the props. Doing exactly. That. But yeah, it's t totally counterintuitive I mean, for the first go round. Hey, you may have noticed a little bit of yaw wobble there. Yeah. I could probably better tune a few things. It was kind of a long process to get to this state of tuning, to tell you the truth. Yep. Going in and out of the sun. Okay, let's do a, a full transition here. Now here you have to go up in power. I do need to add some expo to my ailerons. No, it doesn't. So I guess we're ready to go here, right? Alrighty. Beautiful conditions, man. You couldn't ask for nicer. Yeah, it's gorgeous. Try to do a precisely controlled hover. I uh, don't want to get too close to the camera though. Okay, we'll do a low transition here. You would probably hear I cut the throttle back on its way out just to keep it from climbing. This XC142 is a standoff scale model of the full-scale VTOL transport. Five full-scale XC142 aircraft were built in the 1960s and evaluated in various roles. Despite meeting most of the requirements, it was never developed further. It had high vibration levels, poor lateral stability in forward flight, and a tendency towards a long period pitch oscillation in hover that eventually resulted in a crash and ended the program. 
This model has similar aerodynamic issues, and it's only through the capability of the Open Aero 2 VTOL firmware that it can be made to fly and fly well. The flight controller provides three-axis stabilization in hover mode and stabilization in roll and yaw for forward flight. Unlike the full-scale aircraft, which had variable pitch propellers for control, this model uses fixed pitch propellers. In hover mode, it's similar to a tricopter, except that there are four motors up front instead of two, and the tail rotor is very small, lightly loaded, and doesn't tilt to control yaw. Instead, the ailerons are used for yaw control. In forward flight, it's a normal airplane, except that it uses differential thrust instead of rudder for yaw control.